Okay, in this clip I'm going to be introducing you to the three different modules which are within the WinQS program. Okay, the first one is your BOQ. This is where your bill is created um, and this is primarily what you would issue when you are at the bill stage. This is what you guys are going to be required to do for your project. But there is another section to WinQS as well. To get to the next section, which is your BOE, you would select this symbol. This switches you between the two, and it's quite a quite a quick way of going between the two. Now your BOE is where your estimate is created. This can then be used, as I'll show you, to link to your BOQ. And that way, while you're doing your estimates, you are creating your bill. So when it comes down time to issue a bill or to generate a bill, most of the work has been done already. It is also a simple way because measuring it elementally is a lot easier than measuring it for bill stage. So for your project, it might be a good idea to think about using the BAE function and linking it to your bill. So once again, as in BOE, I mean BOQ, you can there will be different trades so we're going to create a new one so ensuring that you select the new section so that it creates it under there so the, my build description is going to be structural frame and these different builds will are set out clearly within your elemental guide which you would have been issued with. Okay, ensuring that your build column layout is architectural BOQ, no unit column. To create the new one, I select yes, and I can keep going, but I'm just going to create that one for now. So I'm going to select X. And as you can see, there's my new build. To get into it, I can either double click or click on the double ticks. I'm going to double click. And now I'm within my BOE structural frame bill. To I'm going to create just a couple of items so we can just show you how to link between the different ones. So first one I'm going to do is beams 230 okay what I can also do here is I have the option to enter constants. These constants then can be used when you are entering in your descriptions and as you can see each constant has a specific letter so instead of entering your item or your your number you would let literally put in a quant um, the letter to the quantity. So to add to enter this I double click on it and I can then change the different sizes of the different constants. Okay, continue, I just select save changes and I can create my next item. So I'm going to make it columns. Okay, didn't create any constants there, which is fine. Okay, so I now have two items. Obviously, you're welcome to enter headings and create your own sort of layout. Because I'm just showing you the principle here for now. What you'll see under here is that my units are red. Well, this means that it is not linked to anything in my BOQ. Now you must look at. BOQ and BOE has a sort of passage between them and you need to link this current element within my BOE to different trades within the BOQ. So to link that I then I here have an option to click on linked items. Okay, as you can see I have no links at the moment. To create a new link, once again I click my add new item 
and it opens up my BOQ bill. As you can see, you know it's BOQ because it's blue. Blue always represents BOQ, green always represents BOE. To navigate between my trades, once again, select three dots. I go into my concrete form, I can reinforcement. And we're going to enter in link it to my concrete because as you can see there isn't an item here for beams so I while I'm in this tab I can create a new item in my BOQ by selecting my answer add or insert new item as we know concrete is cubic so we have to change the unit and I'm going to enter the description which is beams and as you see, you can see there my new item has been created now to select it or to create the link I'll either double click or select the double tick it then takes me to my dimensions which I'm wanting to link, link it to at the moment I've measured it in meters but I need to add a depth as well as a width and as you, you would remember from before we added some constants and these are displayed at the side here so it's quite a useful thing I can now either by clicking on the constant because you can see a T is displayed there or I can enter a T and it will automatically pick up that constant this is useful if items might change within your project at a later stage and instead of having to go into each item I can just go to my BOE to my beams measurement and alter the constant ok my third dimension I'm going to enter manually so I'm going to say this is 0 0.6 if I have more than one of the same I can times it by a certain amount so we're going to say we have two and again I can enter a reference um, if we so push Okay, and to continue I click enter and I can actually select a number of different or enter a number of different quantities and keep going but I'm going to exit as you can see now I have linked it to concrete beams I can now link it to something else so I'm going to go and look for formwork run formwork smooth formwork to beams Okay, so as I said, we have the running meter, and now I can select the thickness, which will be to my bottom of my beam. It's only going to be one side, but we do have two of them, so I'm going to select two. Okay, as you will remember, I said it was 600 high, so I'm going to select 600. And because there's two sides, times it by two, and times it by two beams. As you can see, that is the quantity it's going to be using. That's my formwork. To get out once again, oh. Okay, as you can see, it's selected those links. That if I'm finished I can exit and now I've created the link from my BOE for beams to my BOQ for the different trades. So to get back to my BOE let's click on browse and now you'll see it's green. This shows that it a link now has been created between BOE and BOQ. I can then carry on doing the same with columns. Another useful item at the top here is this copy BOQ, BOE measurement group links. I can copy the links I've assigned to the beams to the columns if I so wish. So to do that you'd select this icon up here and then select it, the source where you're wanting to copy it to and once again click paste 
and it'll ask me if I want to, I say yes and now you see they both have links have been created and if I go back to linked items they are the same beams, same links if I'm wanting to delete links all I do once again is select it and click hide yes So now a link has been created between BOQ and BOE. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be measuring your entire building within Costex or another program, and this is going to give you a whole lot of different measurements. And with, within WinQS, there is a sec another section, which is the third section, and this is called measurement groups. And this is literally a collection of all your measurements which you're going to put into there. So this is a symbol for measurement groups. If I click on it, it takes me to it's either orange or green. If you go straight into measurement groups from BOQ, it'll be yellow and if you are in BOE, it will be orange. Okay. Once again, creating new items, select the page at the top. And this will once again bring you here. So I'm just going to enter a couple of items can also set up my constants as before and the number of my columns okay when I finish I select the X and now you can see I have two items under under my beer and all my measurement groups. Once again what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to link it to the BOE. This will then in turn link to the BOQ. So as you can see by changing my measurements here and my measurement groups I automatically correct my entire document. So to add a dimension to my beams all I need to do is double click on the quantity they'll then ask me which location I can either choose to accept the current location or I can change it I'm wanting to change it to ground floor I double click on it and now I can enter in my running meters of my beams times it by an item and I can get put a reference if I want to and I can carry on entering items in Okay, if I'm done, I can click on that and I can go back to browse, which will bring me back to my screen. So you can see I now have quantities in there. So we're going to now just enter some into our columns. Okay. Go back to browse and now I have all my quantities set up within my measurement group. You can as well here and here put in headings if you want to. Choosing this one, let's just say concrete or structure. move it up I can use the arrows. Now we're going to need to link it to my BOE. Once again click on linked items to create a new link, add insert new and there it brings me up my green screen which shows me that it's my BOE. So I'm going to link it to my beams. The times in you're welcome to times it by another factor if they're more than one but I'm not going to do that. If there is another item within your structural frame you want to link this measurement, you walk, you can do it, but I don't have. And as you can see now, it is green. I'm going to do the same for my columns. If I have a standard, I have measured my columns in meters. 
if I have a standard height I can enter that in and I can carry on putting in different heights Okay. and as you can see both my items are, are linked to get back to my BOE I select my return to build document which is my measuring group item and as you can see my all my measurements have been brought through from my measurement group to here if we go back to BOQ and we go to our concrete and form like trade you'll see that that measurement for beams concrete which I created is there and as well as the formwork all of it has been linked and that is quite a, a useful way of setting up your bill and I would highly recommend that you make use of that for your project